Welcome back, y'all. We got another great episode for you tonight in What's in the Fridge with Easy B, okay? Tonight, I'm taking you to Southern Italy. Incredible homemade marinara, okay? Homemade meatball served over spaghetti. Unbelievable. Stick around, and I'll show you how to put it all together. Okay, what are we going to need for our marinara sauce? Well, there's a number of things we're going to need. Fresh onions. Beautiful basil. Fresh oregano. And fresh thyme. And here for our meatballs, we've got a nice mix pack of pork, veal, and beef. That's how you make a real meatball. Egg. We just need one egg tonight. We're going to mix that in with the meatballs. It's going to be incredible. I can't tell you how excited I am about this dish tonight. Okay, well, I'm going to tell you a little history about marinara and where it came from. The Spanish brought tomatoes from the New World to the south of Italy in Naples. Okay, marinara, okay, is Italian for sailor. And this red sauce is what they fed the sailors when they got home from their long journeys fishing. Okay, I'm going to show you what we're working with here. Tomatoes, Roma tomatoes. We've got some fresh wheat pasta, beautifully fresh grated breadcrumbs, and that's going to go into the meatballs. Fresh pecorino cheese, egg, a binding agent for our meatballs, fresh butter for marinara sauce, or olive oil for our fresh marinara sauce, red wine that's going to go into this trifecta of meat perfection, the veal, the beef, the sausage. All of this make love to our sauce and to our meatballs right here. All right, and then we have our fresh herb palette. Absolutely gorgeous. Stick around, and I'm gonna show you how to make the best marinara sauce you've ever had. Okay, look y'all, I'm gonna break this dish down piece by piece right now. Meat, ground beef, ground pork, ground veal, all in equal proportions. Tonight, we've got about 1.2 pounds of meat. This is gonna yield enough meatballs and spaghetti and marinara sauce for about four people. Breadcrumbs, three quarters cup. You can use white or wheat bread. Our spices, traditional classic spices, oregano, basil, thyme, Italian parsley. Our spaghetti, we're using healthy wheat spaghetti, about a quarter or a third of the box. Our veggies, we've got three pounds of Roma tomatoes, and I'm gonna show you how to blanch fresh tomatoes to make your homemade marinara sauce. No canned stuff here. One medium onion, six cloves of garlic, We've got an egg, one large, I like them brown. Oil, we got some extra virgin olive oil, about a quarter cup. Cheese, pecorino, feel free to use Parmesan, but this is where it's at for this sauce and this dish. Butter, about three tablespoons, okay? Stick around, we've got What's in the Fridge with Easy B. You can follow us here at www.youtube.com slash user slash Easy B Kitchen. My name is Tim Broxton, our trusty film man, Drew Hollingsworth, on duty tonight. This is a great, fun, affordable dish. It's perfect to prepare with your family. You just follow me step by step. You will turn out some of the best spaghetti you've ever had. Okay, this is the Roma tomato. Unbelievably sweet. This is what we're gonna use to make our marinara sauce. And instead of using can, I chose fresh just because it's better. But we need to get the skin. And how are we gonna do that? We're gonna blanch them. You're gonna take a, a knife and slightly score the bottom in an X pattern, just like that. Stick them into boiling water. We're gonna put them in an ice bath and the peeling will come right off. You can see how simple it was to blanch these tomatoes, okay? The skin comes right off because we've put that X score at the bottom of them. The reason we're taking the skin off is so our mar marinara will not be so acidic and all the sweetness from this tomato will cook right out into our sauce for us. Now this is a great thing to let your children or your friends do when they're over. It's great to always involve people in, close to you, important to you in cooking, okay? This is real fun, but the key is to break these tomatoes down, okay? You don't want to throw these in a blender or uh, macerate them like that because you don't want to really stir air into them. You just want to break them down until they begin to look like a, a tomato salsa. Okay, here's another great thing to either let your friends or family do. This is another part where you get to get your hands dirty. You get the beef, okay? We got the sausage, the veal. We're gonna take a handful of onions, okay? And throw those in there. And we're gonna take some thyme. This is about uh, two good tablespoons worth in our oregano. And we're gonna continue to mix 
and blend all this together. And, and make meatballs, you want to keep them moist. So I've got a little secret. Instead of using water like some people do, I'm going to use a little red wine and it's just going to really kick the flavor up. It's really going to be nice. We're going to add some of our binding agent. Reserve some because you can always go back and add more. And this is our egg. And again, it's really fun to do this with your hands. But this is going, the red wine is really a great secret. I learned this in uh, the North End in, um, in Boston. Unbelievable a friend of mine, she, her parents had two restaurants, one in the North End. And she always said the good secret to homemade meatballs was that red wine. So now you got your North End secret right here in Gainesville, Georgia. Look how beautiful these are, okay? Four people, three, three bite meatballs each. Absolutely fantastic. This is what we're gonna do with. There's so many different ways to cook these meatballs, but I've chosen to get a little rack. Okay, this is a pan I picked up here at Satisco in Gainesville, Georgia. It's uh, $7.95 for the rack, 11 bucks for the pan. And this is just gonna allow it to cook evenly all around the meatball. And I'm just gonna drizzle a little olive oil right over them, okay? This is going to an oven, 350 for about 20 minutes. All right, this is my favorite part. Here comes the homemade marinara. All right, we're gonna take about a quarter cup, that's right, a quarter cup of oil. And we've got quite a bit of butter here. All right, now we've got our oil and our butter going. We're gonna take these onions and throw them right in. Just beautiful. The garlic, we've just crushed it. We haven't even chopped it or anything else. It's just nice and crushed. And we're gonna get all this going. We're gonna cook these onions down for about about 12 minutes and we want this garlic to turn blonde you don't want it to turn brown because then it becomes bitter we're just trying to cook the sweetness out of it and then we're actually going to remove the garlic we have our olive oil we've been cooking this now for about uh, 15 to 20 minutes uh, about 15 minutes in we removed our garlic so we have our tomatoes here and we're just going to pour those right in like so we're going to throw some salt in there some nice sea salt Take just one sprig of thyme, pull it in reverse, throw it in just like that, a little oregano, pull it right off the stem like that, and throw that in. We don't want to spice it up quite yet. We're actually going to add basil at the end for sweetness on this sauce. This only needs 30 minutes. That's one of the great things about this dish. 30 minutes and you've got homemade marinara, meatballs, and spaghetti. It's going to be fantabulous. All right, I'm very excited. Here we are. We're taking our meatballs and we're just throwing it into our sauce. Now, what we've made tonight, again, is a classic marinara. You can see the color. It's a beautiful orange. This is not spaghetti sauce. That's a different show, okay? We want the purest form of, of marinara we can have. We want to add an additional hint of sweetness to this sauce. We've taken it off. It's still very hot. And we're gonna take about two tablespoons of fresh, chopped basil okay and we didn't throw this in in the beginning we're throwing this in now because it's gonna add just a richness and oh god the smell is unbelievable okay we're gonna let this sit for a minute all right here's here's our noodles okay this is our spaghetti what i've done it's a nice little trick is make up a little lemon juice that's garlic and olive oil and I'm just gonna spoon that on there. It has a little Italian parsley in there with it. This is gonna further enhance the flavor of our spaghetti. We're gonna put it right into our bowl, and I'm about to show you how to do a three bite meatball uh, in about two bites, because I'm about to taste it. I'm pairing this nice Chianti, okay? Look at that. You can see the redness, how the redness cooked in there. It's unbelievable. That is from our wine, okay? I'm gonna get a little taste of this. Mmm. Unbelievable. Incredible flavors bursting. The red wine is there. The sweetness of the basil and the marinara. It's just unbelievable. Thanks for following us again in What's in the Fridge with Easy Bee. I'm Tim Broxton. Prego. Buen apetito.